Well, good evening, guys, and Peroni says hello, too. Now, here's a store that sells wedding dress. Well, it sells dreams, doesn't it? But not for the male, just for the femme. Now, this store is fairly local to me, but it's gone tits up, <laughs> in the way of speaking. Of course, it does mean that not so many people are getting married now, or, if they are, they're not spending an exorbitant amount of money just for that one day. I mean, what femon really who's getting married can actually, honestly, wear a white dress? Which is meant to be purity. But of course, there's other stores around, just like this one. And here's a store a little bit further away who's willing to take on the clients that got let down by this store closing very abruptly. And here they are, right here. Look how happy they look. And they're all willing to take a piece of the expensive pie of that one day. And look at that. <laughs> Funny enough, they're all femons. It's amazing to me that marriage is probably the biggest scam femons have ever ran. But men and males are seeing through it eventually. It's a bit of a giveaway because the wedding day is all about the femon. I'll put a link to the news item down below. But these type of stores are becoming obsolete because they're selling a lie. It's a scam. These people can make the femon feel like a princess for one day. But it comes at a very large cost. These femons remind me of used car salesmen. And it was okay many years ago because males paid for it, generally speaking. But males aren't willing to pay for it anymore. And for the modern males, marriage isn't really a good option. You take it easy, fellas.